one or two other thoughts I wanted to give you here, everybody. Uh, How about little Alfred? I can go the distance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh, and he's, I mean, these kids are tough. They are. Uh, and uh, this country is number one in exporting its youth. Hmm. I just talked, just during breakfast, I talked by phone with the older sister of Sharima, our sponsored child. She's in Saudi Arabia working for basically nothing. Hmm. And so is her older sister. I tried to talk them out of going. But, you know, the economic, the Mexi Mexico is the second, by the way, in exporting. Uh, their, their young people. And if you look at the Arab Spring and you look at what's happening in the world right now, uh, today, in Syria, in any place, Greece, Egypt, Bahrain, Yemen, Libya, the young people don't have any work. I mean, we got We've got to create jobs. And look what we're doing. We're, we are creating, these kids are, that number of 5,000 that we have working for CFCA full time. Uh, and that's just the beginning. We haven't even been discovered yet. When you get home, I think we're going to be discovered. Because you've got, you've got contacts and it's got to be grassroots. It can't be on television that you pay. You know what it costs to get a sponsor on television? About five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what happens to the first year's payment? <laughs> wow. And then and then it's also a fact that they lose about fifty percent the first year. Well who you know, the money is in that machine somewhere. We have to have grassroots promotion and we do have that. Um, oh God love you. These kids coming out of uh, coming out of the uh, sponsorship program. Uh, we've got them in every profession as he said. How many are going to graduate this year for a professional? 100? 121? 121 young professors in every in every profession. So thank you for listening to my comment. Now we will go to our grouping. So we assigned an angel.